Turnabout of Courage, Episode 10. Mercy Mode will automatically revive you in case you die. It is highly recommended. Yes, because Black Rune recommended to me. <laughs> Aloha guys, and I'm Von Cadis. Welcome back to more Turnabout of Courage. Well played. Very well played. However, this is still mostly within my calculations. Hmm. How good are you in math? It would take more than a miracle to figure it out before it's too late. Thank you for that. <laughs> In that sense, it is more like a game of chess. A game of chess in which I know my opponent's pieces, but they don't know mine. What? That's... That's cheating. The fake queen is already cornered and will soon be taken care of. The fake queen? Luna? Maria? Mia? After that, it's time to go for the king. With that, the game will be decided. I lost. Even if there is an unexpected comeback, I have several pieces prepared to protect me. Now, it is time to continue the game. Stop making me lose! This is Trial Ladder, part 3 of Turn of Courage, guys. Are you ready for the last part? Because I am. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Let's begin. October 1, 1222, District Courts, Defendant Lock. Why am I reading this? Well, I'm still alive and awake. That was quite the fight in there. That guy really knows how to push for a quick verdict. Don't remind me, that's one of the worst prosecutors I've ever faced. Not exactly because he's skilled, but rather because his methods are simply annoying. <laughs> no, they're pretty cool. Yeah, he just like Gumshoe run into that trap and simply had his fun with the defendant and the maid. So he's really just here to turn the trial into a troll farce for no reason? Anyway, shouldn't we try to work out what actually happened there? Even with all the information we got, I'm still not sure. The suspicious suitcase must mean something, but where did it disappear to? Did you take it? Did Edgeworth take it? True, but maybe we should focus on what actually what's actually at the crime scene, like the cage. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention in my murder theory, I was suspecting Phoenix because he was gone for 30 minutes. <laughs> But that's just me. By this point, it's pretty obvious that the defendant didn't actually do it. You should have believed him from the very beginning. But that leaves one fatal problem, that key that you put in his pocket that I suspect you of because I think you put it there. Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure a solution around the keys will eventually present itself. Mm. Well, that's one easy thing to say. What? Is that a letter? Where'd that come from? Larry's letter. Well, I didn't hear anything. Someone must have suddenly thrown it in here. Wait, what? Oh, it's not this one? Intriguing. We should give it a read. Dear Miss Faye, I am writing this letter to share some very important info. It is related to the trial you are currently involved in. Due to certain some circumstances, I am have to remain anonymous. Use the following info wisely. Is this Black Rune writing to me? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> What's with the blank expression? What does it say? I have gone crazy before this trial is over. Relax. He's just trying to provoke you so that you lose your focus. Well, it's working. Even my patience has its limits. Thanks, Hazama. <laughs> let's just let's just go back in and hope for the best then. I couldn't use this recess to prepare a single thing, except get trolled. Is it because I didn't get any sleep or because of this prosecutor? Maybe both. Oh boy. In any case, the next person on the sand will be Mrs. at me. Oh dear. I wonder how difficult it would be to crack the ice. <laughs> hopefully it would be the helpful in the end. This will be my last chance to show that there is more to this case. So hopefully this won't turn out to be just another trap by the prosecution. Well, I don't need to save anymore because of the, um, what do you call it? Surf mode was it called? Mercy mode? Thank you for that. Black Rune, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Could we now reconvene for the trial of Wesley Stickler? Is everyone compared so that we can listen to the next Wesley? Why, yes, of course. She's been freezing in the prosecutor's front lobby the whole time. Why is she freezing? The whole time? She was already there before the break? What's wrong with your memory? I told you I caught everyone who might be related to the victim. But what? She isn't exactly that close to your leg, term, is she? But she was in the challenge. Just how many people did you call her here, just in case? Around 50. Problem? Whoa. 
Well, I'm not the one who has to deal with the complaints afterwards. At least it's not over 9,000. On another note, you do realize that I only call it research because I thought the witch was in here? Ooh. That's not what you said before the recess. You didn't even ask. Penalty. Problem? Oh, wait, wait. Wrong voice. Hey, this is Faye. What's with that face? What was the point of that letter? Oh, disappointing. You thought the solution would just fly into your hands via a letter. To think that you'd even need something like that is already sad. Enough. Call the next witness. Maybe something was in the letter. <laughs> Ooh, your staring gaze. Now nah, this one's really reviving the defense in certain areas. <laughs> well, give us a name. A name? What kind of name do you want? What kind of voice? I believe the award for the longest name of all time was given to a German. His name was... Out of Blaine, Charles, David, Earl, Frederick, Gerald, Hubert, Ivan, John, Kenneth, Lloyd, Marson, Nero. This is just trolling me. <laughs> that was his only given name. Please give me a moment to remember his last name. <laughs> what? <laughs> By the way, did you notice that he was given a name for every letter of the... <laughs> That's quite the long name. Probably some... Probably had to compensate for something. Um, you were meant to state your own name for the record, weren't you? My name? That's a long story. Coincidentally, this story also began in Germany. <laughs> in a small village, to be accurate. Said village was positioned between two mountains, one in the west and one in the east. Those mountains apparently look like drills that pierce the heavens. You know when she talks, it's very slow. Very, very slow. The German word for Joe is Borer, and the village was therefore called Doppel Borer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you weren't able to follow. Allow me to explain. <laughs> what? No! Oh, it's already- it's begun! Guys, it's begun! <laughs> Loosely translated, Bo Hopper would mean something like Double Joe Dale. My answers were the nobles to the village that belonged there. That's how they eventually became known as the Von- This music really fits. Of course, that name was threatened throughout all the generations. It's almost a miracle that it survived in that form throughout the ages. <laughs> 20 minutes later. And after establishing state said villages, my parents gave birth to me. And naturally, it's quite not obvious that I would inherit my, that name. That's the story of my last name, but why did they call me Nula? Oh god, no. Oh, my apologies. You are all probably in confusion at the moment. I actually decided to give up on that name when I married. I suppose I have to tell you how we met and why I decided to... <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> must concentrate, must stay awake. It sure is cold in here all of a sudden. Anyway, crazy hair lady with huge breasts. Could you freaking get on with it? What did you say? Look, nobody gives a damn about prosthetic history, except, well, maybe some people not is, but just get to the point and tell us your name. What, 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 what? Oh, she's gonna... That hard to understand? We're not here to listen to that crap. Oh, oh, what's happening? Super Saiyan, I, I'm... <gasps> Ooh, Luna at me, head of the honorable board. Whoa, she just changed. And owner of Cool Company, the biggest coolant producer on the planet. Considering what I've already told you, how would you consider showing a little respect? Now she's like some kind of commander. What? Oh wow, now you suddenly switched into arrogant mode? The maid we had earlier did that already, so maybe you should look for a more original gimmick. Oh ho ho ho, excuse me. I think you didn't quite understand the meaning of my words. Allow me to elaborate. Two years ago, there was a similar, you're still elaborating, issue with someone not taking you seriously. He fell asleep during an important business meeting, just like that. Well, I naturally couldn't overlook that. Falling asleep in my presence? It's quite easy to imagine, actually. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can guess what I did. Two days later, he was charged for insulting me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I hired 100 of the best lawyers and made him regret it. Oh my goodness. However, it wasn't over with that. He then proceeded... <laughs> Nobody freaking cares. Silence. You dare to interrupt my interesting elaborations? What I wanted to imply is that I can make the same happen to you. I think I've already explained, but I am the owner of a big company. We even have contradicts with Doris Inc. or Paris events. The monthly profit is in the millions. Do you think you can get away with insulting the owner? <laughs> yes. Feel free to hire as many lawyers as you like. I'll beat them up like I did to Ragda and Blasblue. If you don't have what it takes to defend yourself, I'd enjoy having a nice talk with all of them. We've wasted enough time already. Oh, someone else who doesn't know where she belongs. What? Let me tell you a story. <laughs> No more stories, witness. I just want the child to proceed. Sustain. The witness will limit herself to the relevant parts. Woo! <laughs> but once, Judgey, you did something right in your job. So, what exactly do you intend to make her ramble on about? That should be obvious. 
The relationship with the victim, of course. Well then, go ahead, crazy hair lady. What? Oof. Very well. There really is there's really not much to say about that. What a shame. What? But he was the one who was going to be with you. Well then, allow me to elaborate. This person has a very interesting face. I know someone like that. However, I have never personally seen him. If I did, it must have been more than 10 years ago. But I am quite certain that I have no memory of this individual's name and face. And while I do have a business partner called Larry, it's definitely not this guy. There is also that other Larry, but he should be already be dead. You are apparently implying that I had some sort of secret relationship going on. That is ridiculous. A fool like that isn't worthy of my affection. Wait, why is this cross-examination examination so long? <laughs> Maybe you're trying to even say that I had a motive to kill him. But that is also incorrect. I wouldn't have a motive. Even Jack the Ripper had a motive. So why did you even call me here? I'll make sure you all forget this. Oh, are you still going? I was in the CEO office the whole night and nothing else happened. <laughs> I was there to check all the business reports to see if there was any consistencies. Well, nothing else unusual happened. <laughs> Except for those liars that showed up early in the morning. Oh my goodness. Enough. That should be enough. Gah, have fun with that. Oh my goodness. Mercy. I'm on the crapper. Well, uh, good luck. That you're useful as always, Phoenix. This is fair. I'm running you. We've already wasted enough time. If you make this goodness go off topic anymore, there will be consequences. It's what I would like normally say, but I even I realize that's probably impossible in this case because you're in mercy mode. Just try to stay on topic as much as possible. Understood, Your Honor. I'm not really sure if there's something useful to find here. I'll just have to keep searching. But I, I really don't want to press. Oh, ho, ho, ho. shall we begin then? What kind of question will you ask a commoner like yourself? I mean, what? You're a commenter asking me. I'm willing to answer in full detail. Oh no, if you're willing to listen, that is. Mm. Better left, get me some coffee. One for me too. And then it's Goro getting them coffee. Don't worry, I'm not going to throw it like your husband would. Ooh, what was my mistake? I meant ex husband Ooh, of course. That's what you get for being coffee obsessed. Oh, what's the, with that face? Did I hit a nerve there? Shut up. I'll begin cross-examining the witness now. Oh, Hazama, how dare you? Personally attack me. I'll attack you back with elaboration. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Can we keep it short? I'm afraid that won't do. Do you have any idea what Mr. Standing is might cause? I have to make sure that you pull fools fully understand what I'm talking about. Hmm, that might be a good, this might that might be a good example. What just happened? <laughs> the year 18, 1989, near the covert. At that time, something really fascinating occurred. The what the hell? <laughs> the union of the social Soviet Republics, one of the two most... Why is this relevant? Founded in 1922, it was used to be the largest country on the planet. Let's see how fast I can read this. However, they were facing a large crisis and eventually collapsed near the end of the 20th century. Do you want to hear me tell you about how it happened? Since 1885, there was already been countless strikes by miners. The situation is not the best. Meanwhile, in GDR, was only maintained with the forest and something. Oh, my apologies, you might not know about GDR. It's the Soviet Union's part of Germany they received during the Second World War. Germany took the Republic to be respiced. Well, let's see what you know happened. Political was dangerous, which was misled by the media. Population believed borders open, masses, Berlin Wall demanded access to Germany. Soldiers not to do, they weren't really informed, then they had no choice but to let them through. Interesting enough, Moscow wasn't informed, then it was too late. Apparently, nobody woke them up, so nobody knows. So then, after that, they're, they're, the, the military tried to stop them, and nothing happened, so then the Soviet Union crashed. Do you understand now that politician was at a fault for making such vague statements? But don't worry, because nothing of this is really irrelevant. <laughs> I see, I see. Wow, this could really take a while. Thanks for saying the obvious. We got your point, witness. Please continue. Alright guys, I'm gonna try you guys and press this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this person has a very interesting face. I know someone like that. Like, don't don't mention somebody else. But you haven't seen me before, is what you're saying. Well, should I tell you who reminds me of? Yes, I probably should. Even I tried to tend to avoid the obvious trap in vain. Look, it's it's really not necessary to understand. Listen closely. 2500 BC is where the story starts. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way for events to be old, that old to be relevant to the case. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But this might reveal something it's very intriguing for a victim. This isn't for now. In the town of Iraq, there was once a king. Oh my apologies, you might not know where Iraq used to be located. It's in Iraq. Pause and get an atlas. <laughs> Did she say pause the trial and get an atlas? <laughs> not necessary, I think we got the idea. Are you sure you'll be able to follow like this? But what was I? In that town, there lived the king, a fifth one. He used to be a demigod for 126 years, according to records. He's not a demigod accurately. You have to keep in mind that there were 
He is actually two thirds. This is not relevant. The, maybe his parents were one god and one demigod. GG's. <laughs> hey, are you even listening? Um, no. We haven't reached the interesting part yet. Not, nothing on your testimony is interesting. Took a look at the effect of Gilgamesh, which is Oric. Even now, I was surprised on how it allowed me to lab. No! <laughs> What's important to me? Gilgamesh is said to have built. He definitely is one of the most rulers. His people who describe him as one. This is rather strange, considering that he apparently was a rather harsh ruler. In fact, his objection to rulership. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna fail this test. Witness, please! <laughs> For the sake of us in the courtroom, stop! <laughs> what impatience! Is this. Isn't this Gilgamesh even used in popular culture nowadays? It's not even. It's not wrong to know what he actually did according to the legend. So your whole point is that Mr. Butts began it bears a resemblance to Gilgamesh? I thought that went without saying, see? That's all you could have said. This is why I prefer to see things clearly. <laughs> Sazama was sleeping. Or was he? This is free! Running away in the Gundy Sovereign Day! I know, Your Honor. <laughs> However, I've never personally seen him. Yes, you have. You have never seen him in person? Well, fair enough, but... Oh, this might cause an unintended mis misunderstanding. Allow me to be more clear. Oh no! I know that personally only refers to the action of seeing person in action. In person. I have to say like this seeing how I have now seen you, so now I've seen his face on the photo he showed me. And maybe there, in two instances, I saw an unconscious photo of that person. Or I unconsciously saw it of them. If there are, I certainly do not have any memories of them. I I'd rather unlikely but possible say maybe someone who actually saw him. Something, 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 something. Observation. Now consider this. Who's raining the scars? <laughs> An invisible demon who created fake things. Something's. Uh, why bring it up? Oh, Fluna. No, I'm pretty sure about the same. I won't state anything. Yes. We could have a look at an example starting in 1473. Please, for the love of God. Please, no. Please. I believe we are on the steady point. Could you continue with the testimony? What are you saying? I'm not done explaining yet. Are you like those who foolishly defended the geocentric worldview? Let me try another approach to- No! No! <laughs> Holy crap! She is so well characterized! I suppose the relevancy of any intentional chance couldn't be questioned. Therefore, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Still, unless I'm currently lying, it is a 99% secure fact that this person is a stranger to me. Then that's all you could have told me! And by truth, wait, you still have 1%. I'm referring to relative the objective definition. So it's not like the truth is the truth I like to believe in. You could say that I'm lying, but the chances are low. I get the fact, oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I think I get what you mean. Actually, I think we know exactly as much as we did before I asked. Are you sure you get it with an example? Very well. I will take the liberty to receive it. Oh. If I did, it might have been more than 10 years ago. You know what? I know it was. this is gonna be a trap, but I think there's something. <laughs> And now you tell us a part of a story about 10 years ago. Isn't that right, Witness? Yes. Is that seriously what you believe? Oh, ho, ho, ho. because you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Darn, even reverse psychology has no effects. You see, back then, oh my god. I was still a little girl with glorious hair. I remember, classmates looked like that. Faces were foggy, but she can't guarantee, but we, he recalls a boy with a monocle. Shelly the Killer? And strange girl with sunglasses. Um... Machi? <laughs> After listening to my story, however, she took off her sunglasses and switched out. This inspired me. She turned into an ice princess. Are you sure you didn't forcefully freeze her or something? Nonsense. I would never abuse a part of that. It was an inspiration of telling you. It even made the boy with the monocle fall in love with her. They married and mar lived happily. Something regardless, something not irrelevant. Considering he did, it would still be redecorated though. <laughs> Speaking of monocles, have you ever heard of the prosecutor? He has quite the resemblance to that boy. Maybe it's actually him. This prosecutor. I do believe his name is Raven or something like that. Raven? That's an odd one. Speaking of, he's searching out the Raven around. There's another one who made an interesting offer for me. Is it the one from Fire Emblem? Oh, thank you, finally! Okay, girls, let's not get too meta here. Some players do complain again. Um. Uh. You know, um. Oh, whoops! My, I made it even worse. I made, I just made it even worse, right? My bad. Even, <laughs> you know, when he paused and the music paused, dude, that was just so perfect. So where was I? Oh yes, ten years ago. Back then, my grandfather told me an interesting story. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you couldn't possibly know what kind of grandfather my grandfather was. This time passed. You see, our grandfather used to, our family used to live in Germany. However, when the First World War was about to break out, 
I think you've gotten a lot already. Great question and all. You, you've actually been much, much appreciated, commenter lady. Splendid. I can go on to thank the Lord, but I'm quite certain that I have no memory of this individual's face memory. You liar. Neither face nor name. Neither. You could say that. I am reminded of a popular word from the far. <laughs> I should probably elaborate. No, no. But I'm what? Have you ever heard of the deadly truth? Who? Don't even throw even more random topics in the conversation with this. Face and name. You claim that you saw neither before? Well, I regard the name. I will elaborate on that issue later. <laughs> of course, I've heard that name before, but not directly linked to that very person. Whenever I heard or read the name Larry, it had nothing to do with the victim in this case. But back to my previous point, deadly three are the most feared assassins in the world. <laughs> Peter X, sir. He's expensive but can do anything. He's a mess to disguise, but he might even be in this courtroom. Wait a second, witness. Are you seriously lecturing us about how to hire an assassin? <laughs> Right! Witness, stop revealing that I'm a assassin and stick to more child-friendly topics. It's like he didn't even notice until I pointed it out. That means he is the assassin, isn't he? You must understand. I just wanted to give you a full explanation that we didn't want. <laughs> but he seems to be more interested in the face and name problematic. Um, yes. But as I already said, I never had any contact with the person. So, I guess I'll go to the next one. That includes any form of miscommunication, speech, email, messenger pigeons, email, pidgeotos, Pokemon. Smoke signals, noise calls, phone calls, videotapes, CDs, DVDs, <laughs> internet chat rooms, zats. <laughs> yeah, we get the idea, thank you. Ugh, I can't just let her get away with all of this. I would like to point out the mist. <laughs> Don't just start talking about that again, please, stay on top. <laughs> Very well, a lot of the common people. The next point I have to address is natural. And while they have business with a partner called Larry, it's definitely not this guy. It's not? It's not Butthead? <laughs> I will, uh, ne never mind, please proceed. Oh, do you have a hint of interest there? Very well. Let me explain. No, I should do something against this habit to press everything. Um, this Larry I was talking about happens to be the creator of an internet search engine. What? <laughs> the most famous one. Google? Why would there be a clothing merchant? It has something to do with that, you ask. Well, first of all, it's important. Many people can't use a searching engine, can't be encountered. Now, for a very small appointment, other pre everything related to our company will be on top. Ooh. He was more interested in our services. Apparently, there were secret plans to set and us that needs a huge computer. So he had a cool, cool... I think this might actually be important. He requested an ultra cool, <laughs> super deluxe cooling system. But to get back to the person himself, Larry is technically not his real name. As for why I'm allowed to use his nickname, I shouldn't. It seemed relevant in this case. However, I'm certain that Larry is not this Larry. Getting back to the issue, that would mean that this business card has nothing to do with this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we we'll would only consider my current knowledge. Very unlikely. This corporation was founded in 1998. It was still Leong, making more profit than us. Then again, isn't our direct competition. For other than that, look at the other cool and merchants. The Kurosagi Industries. Then they took trouble something the last years. And then they got this a nice car. But unfortunately, they had regular products for a lot of prices. That Kisaragi. He seriously believed that he could beat me by spamming ice cards. <laughs> seriously? And then he tried to corner me with near a wall and spam heavy strikes. Seriously guys, learn how to combo if you want to even have a chance to beat my boss form. You know, Master of Chaos, if you're watching this, you're reminding me <laughs> of your matches. <laughs> Can we back, get back to the issue in hand now? What do you mean? I've been talking about it the whole time. Oh dear lord. There is also that other Larry, but he should already be dead. This is the one we gotta look at. Witness, it should be preferable you focus on the Larry of this case. Ah, but this one is a really interesting story. Yes, please tell me. It happened when I was only 8 years old. What? I was in Washington because of my parents had an unappointed appointment there. Um, oh my goodness. The year is 2000. Everything had been excited about the start of a new millennium. <laughs> what the hell was this? <laughs> At that time, America was still unquestionably the strongest economic force in the world. Black Rune, put all you here. Even in terms of military power, nobody was able to compare. Nobody could doubt this, and this apparently, down the clock. As I said, we were in Washington for important business. All this, I wasn't allowed to attend the meeting, so I, was, I had to wait. But someone with blonde hair and big mustache was wearing shades. He wore a black suit, but didn't fit because too small. I was a child, didn't even think to point it out because that would be implied. He just adjusted the glasses, forced a smile, and he was aware of it. He didn't have the time to get a new one because of his height. I tried to converse and he got annoyed, and that's when I left the building. And I didn't mention this took place on the 24th floor, and why does this even be relevant? I noticed that the elevator stopped briefly on the 8th floor. When I arrived, old man was standing inside. What was left of his hair is just some stuff. I pressed the button for the ground floor, but the elevator went in. <laughs> that was most likely because the old man went, 
had already pressed the button for one of the upper floors. And I suppose the elevator was broken. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Both the orders to clear that matter up and briefly summarize the reasons for my presence. Oh my god! He chuckled and said that parents shouldn't be doing stuff like this, doing their dreams and things. Then I said that I was really lucky for having wealthy parents. Oh my god! <laughs> After that, he tried to pat my head. Luna, stop! <laughs> stop it! He said, just call me Larry. I hope you'll meet again. He's like an old man, okay? <laughs> In this time. Right now, he, he finished the sentence, the elevator's doors, and he went down. I went, well, what happened? I got off and looked around. To my right, there was an info desk. Oh, I just skipped that. Oh, I skipped what it said. Well, if you play this trial and you want to see what the last part said, just press that statement and see what Luna has to say. You'll enjoy it. How much does either? <laughs> Wait, that's it? I'm not finished yet. Next, I would be how I spent my time waiting outside. Wait, what was that introduction for then? <laughs> I thought there would be some sorts of political... Um, uh, oh, 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 oh. That was obviously just for the sake of being adequately elaborate. So when did you meet this Larry again? This the old man who called himself Larry. That was only one time. That was all? Then why did you even... Oh, this is perfect! Uh-oh. Don't... Don't... What? It's over? Oh, please proceed, witness. With the greatest pleasure, I'm trying to endorse the church. Maybe I'm just a detective, so I can testify more often. It's so much more fun to have people actually listening. Come on, detective, the first time you don't know. Why am I giving anybody... Why am I giving anybody the judge's point? Poor judge, there's no escape for him. Okay, this is where we're gonna stop, guys. <laughs> We've reached the mark. You are apparently implying that I had... What? This is the one we have to go... What? This is the one we need to go to. Alright, we'll go to here in the next episode. Peace out guys and I hope you enjoyed the history lesson. <laughs> Laters.